Uh, Yolanda? <laughs> Yolanda! Welcome to How to Cake It. This week is so much fun. I'm making a snake cake and I have a Disney Jungle Book prize pack giveaway. I'm giving away five prize packs. So stay tuned for more details about how to win those. And if you watch to the end of this video, I'm gonna have someone special join me. Actually, three special guests. I'm Yolanda and I'm wild for cake. Babe, I think there's something in your hair. I think so. To make this snake cake, I am baking 18 pounds of my banana cake. And to my batter, I added three cups of mini chocolate chips. The texture and color of banana cake really reminded me of a snake, so I thought it was perfect for the inside. I divided all of my cake batter into six different round and bunt cake pans. I'll put all of the sizes and details below in my blog at howtocakeit.com. With my biggest two round cakes, I remove them from their pans, level them, and cut off a layer of caramelization at the bottom of each cake. And for my bunt pans, I simply level them at the top. Most of the caramelization is gonna disappear anyway when carving the snake. I begin by stacking my two 10 inch cakes on top of each other and using a small serrated knife to round the edges. Now I wanna create a C shape, kind of like if the snake was like coiled on itself. So I take my sharp knife and carve away an indent in that cake and round it down as well. Yolanda, <laughs> did you just run through the jungle again? Yes. It's too forward, it looks crazy. There, there we go. I'm gonna move on to one of my bunt cakes. Bunt cakes are perfect for a snake because there's a hole in the middle and they're already curved. I cut the bunt cake into two parts. I take each half of my bunt cake and I connect it to the C cake that I've already carved. And now you can start to see the shape of the slithering snake come to life. Cake is soft, especially moist chocolate chip banana cake. So it's a little bit tricky when you're carving. You have to be careful, take your time. I continue the process with yet another bunt cake, extending the snake further. And then I have a smaller bunt cake that I add to one end of the cake and try to sort of coil it up over itself, like a snake's tail would sort of wrap over itself which is really hard, but really cool. I use a bigger piece of leftover cake from my 10 inch to create the head. And then I basically just use a picture on my iPhone and <laughs> some sharp knives and carve, carve, carve till I'm happy. <laughs> all in all, the carving process alone took me close to three hours. So I didn't beat my turkey cake record. If you wanna know how long the cake took me from start to finish, including the carving, I always put a time-lapse video on my Facebook page with a time clock. Now I need to crumb coat my entire snake cake. I've decided to use coffee buttercream. To make coffee flavored buttercream, I just make a concentrated coffee and whisk this into my Italian meringue buttercream. And the best part is you can just flavor it to taste the same way that you like coffee. I'm also going to put a little bit of buttercream between the two 10 inch layers. Remember, now that it's carved, it doesn't look like two cakes. And anywhere that the cake is joined, I'll put a little bit of buttercream in between and just crumb coat the entire thing. This is how you know I'm wild. I'm so wild for cake that I broke a rule. Well, it's not a rule, it's just my rule, but I don't break my own rules either. I made the snake cake so big, I couldn't fit it in my fridge. So it's just crumb coat and. <laughs> so honestly, like, what did you do after the crumb coat? I just left it and we had lunch. <laughs> My whole world is shattered. Your world. <laughs> it's now time for fondant. I dyed my fondant a really pale, pale yellow. I just used a little bit of buttercup yellow as a base. This cake is gonna take about six sections of fondant. I start in the middle with the C and I just roll fondant and start to cover. It's really difficult. Because the cake couldn't be chilled, it remains soft inside, so I have to be very careful covering with fondant not to press too hard. Some of the places, like in the middle of the C and some of the S curves, it's really difficult for me to even get my hand in there and secure the fondant to the cake.
This snake cake has all kinds of seams. So to hide my seams, I made a fondant paste. I basically just work water into fondant and then I use that paste, put it on with a spatula and use a wet paintbrush to just work it in and blend it in. This snake is now seamless as a snake should be, but it needs scales. To create my scaly texture, I'm using a rolling pin sleeve. It's basically just this plastic sleeve that you slip over a rolling pin and it creates texture when you roll with it. But I've cut up the sleeve because I'm wild, wild for cake. So I basically just cut a piece of this sleeve, it's called a diamond sleeve, and pressed it, pulled it and pressed it into my fondant. This made me so nervous because once again, there was no chill. See what happens when you don't chill out? You get stressed. At least this diamond sleeve is a step up from the shelf liner I used on my turkey cake. I mean, at least it's actually made for cakes. If there's one thing that makes me nervous in the kitchen, it is painting cakes. I always get apprehensive, I feel anxious, I try to procrastinate before starting. So you know what? It's time for a Jungle Book giveaway! <laughs> that scared me. Well, you're in the jungle, you should be scared. <laughs> I have five Jungle Book prize packs to give away. This is what you have to do to win one. Subscribe to this channel, How to Cake It, right now, and comment below and tell me which Jungle Book character you would be and why. I'll also put a link of the trailer for the brand new Jungle Book movie in my description below so you can check it out. I would of course be Ka, the snake in the Jungle Book movie because today I'm all about snakes. Good luck everybody! <laughs> all right, no more procrastinating. I need to paint this snake cake. I'm mixing a little bit of black, a little bit of brown and some ivory food coloring diluted with clear white rum. Clear white rum? White rum. <laughs> <laughs> the first coat of paint is going to be one light color over the entire snake. Let it sit for a moment and meanwhile I start to mix another layer of paint that contains more brown and a little more black. I begin to paint on the ball python snake pattern. All around the snake, up one side, down the other. What I did do to add some texture was use cut up pieces of paper towel pressed into the paint and pulled off just to leave behind some texture and soften the paint. The next color I'm gonna paint on is pretty much black but I softened the black with a little bit of brown. I'm leaving this paint a bit thicker, so adding less rum. And use that paper towel technique once again. I use more black paint to add dots to the snake, and I use some more black paint to darken the snake again. That's the key to painting a cake, especially one of this nature. Do it in layers, take your time, have a look. You'll know when it feels right. This snake needs eyes! Hello! I used two little red candy beads for the eyes and I painted them with my black food coloring mixture. I just popped them into the snake head and painted them. Snake was like, done. <laughs> the way you went like this, you can see like you're peeing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't pee there. Okay, I won't. I'm wild, I can't help it. <laughs> this cake was so much fun to make and a lot of you have requested it. Thanks for all your suggestions. I really appreciate it, but I need your help. I need you all to participate in our It Takes Two contest. If every single one of you subscribed right now got even one person to subscribe, we would hit two million in a heartbeat. All you have to do is leave a comment below tagging someone, get them to subscribe to this channel, and as long as you're both subscribed, you will be entered to win two matching Wild for Cake t-shirts. Imagine you and your friend walking down the street. Everyone will be like, did you see them? They're wild for cake. <laughs> I know I spent all this time making this snake, but at the end I had to catch it and have a piece. It is banana chocolate chip.
That cake was delicious. I've invited Dave Salmoni, animal expert and all around jungly man. And he's bringing some live models. Cut to the footage. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. You look uh, happy to see me. I am. Okay. And I'm gonna put it here and she's gonna hold on to you. Now, what, what's she doing with her tongue? She's just smelling the air. So they have a forked tongue and a little organ in the top of their m mouth, and they smell a cake, and then they put it in the roof of their mouth. Go, smells like good cake. Okay. Oh, she's coming close to my head. Yeah, she's gonna be all over you. Is she gonna bite me? No, she will not bite you. I think she's a girl. She might be. Because she's like looking me up and down. Yeah. She's like, let's see who this is. I wonder. I wonder. Oh, That's, like... That's right. I just held a snake. Palm drop. I think that was the first palm drop in history. Oh, sorry, Kanye. I did this first. And if you want to kiss her, you're, you're welcome to. Yo, I think you should kiss her. <laughs> Jocelyn, today is the day you went too far. Oh. Yeah, very pretty. So people often think of snakes as slimy. No, Not slimy soft. at all, right? Very soft. There we go. I think Dave liked my cake. I mean, it doesn't look like a man who eats a lot of cake. <laughs> but he enjoyed it. I like it. Banana? Um, banana with chocolate chips, and a co there's actually a coffee buttercream in the middle. Mmm! Banana cake is yeah. my favorite cake of all. Is it? It's just I feel cake, like, I promise. I feel like I am, uh, you know, being a bad friend, eating snake in front of my <laughs> snake friends. Thank you so much to Dave Salmoni for coming and bringing my two new best friends to my kitchen. If you want more information on where you can find Dave, I'll put a link in the description below. Because I know some of the ladies are wondering. Woo! <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Today I did something I never thought I'd do. You're welcome, Yolanda. It wasn't on my bucket list. Everything's on Jocelyn's bucket list for me to do. I'll see you all next week, or maybe I won't make it out of the jungle. <laughs>Britney Spears slave for you right now. You know I was thinking I mean? the same thing. This is one of the coolest things I was hoping you were going to break done. into song. You don't want that. No? No. Guys, there's a lot of giveaways in this episode. Good luck to winning five Disney Jungle Book prize packs and good luck on the It Takes Two contest where you can win two matching gorgeous tees.